Hey everyone, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. So you may have seen this uh, on a few of my videos in the past. Um, I've mentioned it a few times here and there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's up on a platform in our basement. Um, with lots of ducting and, and uh, tubes around it. But this is one of our heat pump water heaters that heats our hot water. So it's it's basically a uh, air conditioner or refrigerator, whatever you want to call it, and it uh, dumps. It's it's the the heat dump for it is our water tank or one of our hot water tanks. This is a 50 gallon tank. I uh, just bought at Home Depot about, uh, gosh, eight years ago, nine, uh, seven, eight years ago, uh, right after we bought the house. And uh, just a simple electric element uh, water heater. Just got, uh, you know, the upper element and the lower element down here. I think I paid like 300 bucks for it or something. Uh, you know, they're, they're more now, obviously, but um, they're, they're still less expensive than gas ones, which is what I had here before. Um, so you can see the, this is the natural gas line that was feeding the previous water heater was here. But now it's just, the only thing in our house is natural gas runs our furnace. Anyway, so this is our heat pump hot water heater. Uh, so <clears throat> what it does is it is an air conditioner for the air in our house and instead of dumping the the uh, that energy to uh, you know outside window or something like that like a window unit would it dumps the heat into your hot water so um, so I'll, I'll be going with that in this video today uh, hopefully I won't make it too long um, the company that makes these does not make them anymore at least last time I checked it's a company called uh, Nile, and <clears throat> it's a Nile Geyser. I think is the model uh, model name of this thing. It's uh, it runs off a 120 volt power, so it's not a 240 volt hot water heat pump or heat pump water heater. It runs off a 120, which is why I chose it. You can see the 120 volt power coming out right here, and then going into this outlet that I mounted up here. And uh, right now it is running. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It just sounds like a little air conditioner. And it's pulling about 650 some watts. So, not too bad. It's, it's, it, pull, it pulls about the same watt as a, I wanna say like a 6,000 BTU window air conditioner does. <clears throat> so, um, it does take a, a lot longer to cycle through and heat the water back up in this tank than, it, than the electric element does. But it only pulls about, overall, during, this, during the cycle of heating the water back up in the tank, when it switches on, it only pulls about 40% of the electricity than what a heating element, than what the heating element down there was doing. And I have proof of that by recording the electricity usage that this thing was taking in uh, back before I installed it. So this tank I installed in December of 2014. Uh, yeah, there's another note, replaced the anode rod a couple of years ago to, yeah, January 2020, actually three years ago now. Um, <coughs> so that, that's actually come and due uh, by, by January 2024 or a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> so I have uh, I've been keeping records over there as a as a notepad I, over there I've been keeping records of how how much power this thing has been using over the years. So yeah, installed this in 2014, and about seven months later I installed this thing in July 2015. So let me show you the label on this. Hopefully you can see it. Whoops, I turned around here, sorry. There we go. There's the 
label. So this company is still in business, at least as far as I know. But they do not make this model anymore. They, they don't make residential heat pump water heaters anymore. They, they only make commercial ones. <clears throat> so uh, unfortunately I can't buy another one if this thing breaks. Uh, I have seen them online on eBay every now and then used. Um, but uh, they are a pretty heavy item. You have to ship them freight. It did come on a pallet when I got it. Um, yeah, as you can imagine, uh, you know, window air conditioners are not not light, so it's kind of the same kind of thing with some more added uh, equipment in there. <clears throat> so what happens here is, and the reason I also did this versus buying an all-in-one tank that has the heat pump water here on top, the reason I did that did this one uh, this way because I knew they had these when we bought this house. And I wanted something where if the heat pump water heater failed, I didn't want to have to replace the tank. Or vice versa, if the tank failed, I didn't want to have to buy another one of these. So it's kind of a, um, a, <laughs> a work against the system kind of thing of just throwing appliances away when many parts of the, of the appliances these days still work fine. And when I when I install <clears throat> installed this 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 unit cost about a thousand bucks, the heat pump water heater, including delivery. And by my calculations, it took uh, about four years to pay it off. So since uh, July 2019, this has been golden. <laughs> uh, just been. Uh, reaping the benefits. So, it's been pretty nice to have this. And the other benefit of why I chose uh, 120 volt power one versus 240 volt is because I can use this to power it. Our backup power system. I can use electricity stored in batteries to power our heat pump water heater and make nice warm hot water so um, <clears throat> that's all I had to go on this today hope you enjoyed that little uh, <clears throat> presentation it's been long overdue uh, I'm going over this particular setup here I haven't we have another heat pump water here that we have for the other side of our house that I'll go over another video but uh, <clears throat> hope that was informative um, the company I bought these from does not make these anymore, but <clears throat> I have found others out there that you can buy uh, where you can buy a separate heat pump water heater and and not have to buy a whole tank and the heat pump water heater uh, combined. You, you can just buy this unit or this type of unit, not this unit exactly. You can buy this type of unit and marry it with an existing tank in your house. And I know one company that's, that's selling those is called Signature Solar, and they're out of Texas. Uh, I just happened upon them. Uh, they're, they're big into selling these batteries that we have down here in our solar system. They're big into those, and they're big into selling inverters and charge controllers and, and uh, solar panels for solar systems, obviously, because their name is Signature Solar. But they do have other appliances that are that can be powered by solar, like they have uh, heat pump systems for uh, conditioning your living spaces that can be directly powered by solar panels. You don't even have to have a charge controller or an inverter to convert power or anything. It just you plug in the DC power directly into these things, and they power it. Well, they <clears throat> they don't have the same exact thing for heat pump water heaters, but they they sell heat pump water heaters that are separate from tanks and so you can still find stuff like this I don't know if those are 120 volt power or 240 volt power but you can still find these that are separate from the tanks uh, so that's one place I know of if you know of others let me know but <clears throat> that's where those are at 
that's that's where I'm at on, on that knowledge right now. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Um, getting a little long on the video here, so I'll end it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.